Hello everyone. This is going to be a multi-part video and at the end we will have a Plex server and a Jellyfin server set up and running as well as our R suite of apps which will be handling our movies and TV shows and we'll be getting our media from the Usenet providers instead of BitTorrent. So, on this video, this first part, I am going to show you the first steps, what you need to have set up before you get started downloading any applications. Um, this will include the folder or path for your media and files that will enable you to have what they call atomic transfers. And this will be... Uh, done in an unraised server and the media storage is going to be a separate Synology box running in the network. So I'm going to show you that first. Okay, come along. Let's go into the Synology box and show you what you need to do to your storage setup before you start downloading anything on the internet or uploading all the stuff that you yourself um, got or ripped anyway if you look at this little picture that I made here showing you the my source locations my NAS the folder structure that you see here it's the prefer folder structure it, it's not set in stone but if you follow this then you get the benefits of the atomic transfers the instant transfers if you check out the trash guides is this guy's hard fantastic they have a lot of uh, good tutorials this is what they recommend okay if you stick with that you will have a great time with this particular setup okay here we go let's go into mine I am going, which I already did, I created a new folder. You're going to have whatever you want. I'm going to call it data-youtube for now. But a reference here is data. So wherever you see data, you're going to see, in my case, data-youtube. Okay, skip that part. Inside that data folder, a data share, this is the main share, I'm going to have two sections. Media section, which is where Plex and Jellyfin are going to look for their content. And then I have the Usenet section, which is for the Usenet servers. And this is where our programs are going to download the content. They're going to um, categorize it into sections. And then within that, another program is going to pull it, rename it, and send it to your respective folder here in either your movies or TV shows, okay? So once you have a setup like that, see how this is like the, the top and then you have the, the ones inside matches the top and then the ones inside. Once you have that setup, we're good to go. Also, um, it's up to you, but in my case, my, my media, I split it into more sections. So of just having movies and TVs, I have movie section and TV section, and inside those folders, I split it. Adult, movies, movies 4K. TV section will be animation, anime, and standard. I should also have anime movies here, so let's create that. Create folder and anime for my anime movies. Oh, and another thing that I forgot to mention. Make sure that you keep everything in small caps. Don't do what I just did. Is if you keep everything small caps, you will never have an issue. Anime. Okay, perfect. Just notice there's nothing inside of any of those folders. They're empty. This is just for, for the video. Okay, close that up. Then we go back to on raid. And let me post this because I need some water. Okay, back. All right, first things first, you're going to need a subscription with any of the Usenet providers. I recommend either this one, Thunder News, or this one, 
y Wicca. I am not affiliated with any of them, and they ain't paying me no money. All I know is that I use them, they work, and that's all I gotta say. Once you have an account with them, you're gonna need to write down their server information, you see here, for example, and what ports they allow. I only use port 19, so I, in this case, in the Thunder News, I'm in the US, so this is gonna be the server name, port 19, which, and then make sure you keep track of your username and keep track of your password, because you're going to need it, and the amount of connections. If they say 50, put 50, if you want. I, myself, always put half. That's just pra my practice, you do you, and we all be good. Same thing with Wicca. This is the server, port, 50 connections, I do have. Simple, okay. What is, <clears throat> and for companion to the uh, Turner News and Eureka News Net Service, or any News Net Service for that matter, you're going to need an indexer. And these guys here, you just, they're not invite, you can just register with them, nzb.su. One of my favorites, it's everything that I search for, they, I usually find it with these guys, with this particular indexer. Indexers work together with the um, Usenet servers. They're, they're tied to each other, you can't have one without the other, okay? That's why I have, like for example, this one here, and I go back to the main thing. See, I messed it up again. <clears throat> All right, so like what I, this little flow chart here, after your folder structure is set up correctly, you're going to need to have Houston providers, and you're going to have to need, have to need, you're going to need indexer services nzb.su is one and nzb geek is another but so see if you could get yourself an account with any of those okay next step is we're going to set up our our array to handle and the stuff right here that we just created we go back to our array and as of this point in time, you already have an account with Thunder New or with a Usenet server provider. I keep saying their names, but you don't need to. And an indexer provider. Once you have that set up, now you can start the next section. We are going to, in my case, since you noticed, I said that my media is stored in a separate box, stored outside the Unraid server if you have if your media story within unraid good for you in my case it's not so a lot of people have upgraded to to unraid on this on a separate machine and they first started with knowledges so it's a lot of these boxes going around and it's good to know how to mate the two for this purpose okay in unraid we're going to connect to the main here and we're going to create a share, an SMB share, to that Synology box. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna add a remote share. I've always used SMB, has always worked. Hit next. You could search for the service, for the server, or you could just type the IP address directly. I always like typing the IP instead of relying on host names. Okay, so you do what you want on this particular spot. Okay, hit next. All um, Synology boxes, you have to have a password and a username to access the shares. No domain required. Load the shares now. And you see data, and we also see data-youtube, which is the one I'm gonna use for this tutorial. And it's the one that I showed you a few minutes ago. Hit that, hit done. By default, it's not mounted. You want this thing to mount every time you turn on on Ray for whatever reason that you ever have to, to reboot it. To do that, you go into this little gearbox, click it, make sure auto mount is set, done. And then you come here, hit mount, wait a few seconds, we're done. 
now we're, now we're able to access that share from within Unraid. As you can see, it's on the remotes data dash YouTube. Okay. If you don't know, in Do in Unraid or Docker, once you have Docker, you know, uh, turned on or whatever you want to call it, every um, container likes to save their configurations in a specific spot. For Unraid, it's always under shares, app data, and here. So every folder you see here is a container. Okay. So I'm going to create a space here for this particular tutorial because I already have the apps that we, we're going to be installing. I don't want to overwrite any settings. So I'm going to create a new space just for that. So I want to make a folder for the tutorial. So create a YouTube tutorial. Okay. Start. Now from this point on, I'm going to be pointing to this particular um, folder and I'm going to have the the apps come here okay go back to docker before you do anything it is um it is recommended space invader and ibracorp i think are the two guys who are always pushing this particular information those guys have, have fantastic videos anyway and they recommend you create a custom network within docker that way Docker containers can communicate with each other with each other by referencing their host names. So in other words, if I am inside Prowler, Prowler can talk to Raider by simply calling out Raider instead of the IP address of this machine. In my case, this machine is running under 105. Okay, so instead of typing the IP address, I could just type Raider within another container and it will reach it. That is the basics, how I understand it, and the benefits of using a custom network. So here we go. We're going to go into the terminal within Unraid. And it's as simple as typing Docker network create and then a name for your custom Docker network. I'm going to call this uh, YouTube. Okay. Hit enter. Once you see those big numbers there, that means you're good to go. You could also go ahead and type Docker network list and list the current networks and the YouTube should be there. There we go. YouTube right there whatever you you name yours should be right there and that just it's a one-time move stays there and we don't have to worry about it anymore okay if you notice my um my setup here i got folders by default i don't think Unray has this by default anymore maybe it does now since it's been so long i think they, they're planning on having this feature maybe it is already part of Unray. i don't know if it's not this is called folder view and you install it via the apps folder the same way we install any other container. But instead of going to a container, it's going to go into the plugins folder by itself. But that's what it's called. It's called folder views. If you like it, go install it. Okay. I created a little folder here tutorial just for this for this particular video or series of videos. And our, our apps are going to go in this folder to keep them organized. Okay. First app, SAB and ZBD. Okay, so that this pretty much ends this video and the next video will be installing SAP and ZBD. All right, guys, see you on the next one.